So take us forward. Okay. Know. Well, you know, how, how it, did, it took how me did, nine years to get my PhD. Okay, so, <laughs> so that sort of gives you the so, framework. So the moral of the story is don't give up. Just keep Oh, going. well, <laughs> yes. And I guess... Or maybe there's some, some well, steps in there. Some, or you know. have a professor that won't let you give up because I tried to give up. I, I, I sent him a letter of resignation and, and we had to communicate back then. There's no internet by letters. And so every month I'd write him two letters and he'd return them. And I wrote him a letter of resignation about the seventh year uh -huh. <laughs> saying, I just can't do this anymore. And I got the letter back that month and I t opened it quickly and wondering what he, how he took it. And he never mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> and he just told me what he thought I, the next step should be. And by then, I had sort of calmed down, and I just said, okay, I'm not going to mention it anyhow, and I'll, I'll go ahead keep, and finish. Keep trucking. <laughs> but I was really, really tired uh, because as I was working full time. By then, I had a child. It, it was really becoming stressful. The other part of that story was even prior to a few years earlier than that, I finished the experiment, proved that the f transition was that fast, and went out visited George Duvall and said, I'm done here. I've done this great measurement and I'm going to write it up and it'll, it'll be my thesis. He says, well, Jerry, you're halfway done. I says, excuse me? <laughs> I, I well, said, another nine years. <laughs> he says, well, now you have to come up with some theory to explain it. I says, no, no, I'm an experimentalist. He says, yes, you're an experimentalist and I'm your thesis advisor and if you want to finish, you will come up with a theory explaining this. So I puzzled for over a year of what to do, and I came up with uh, a nucleation theory where the shock wave, a nucleation theory is not particularly new, it's a general statistical physics idea where if a phase transition could be possible, there's always small embryos available, but they're not stable. And in any one time, there will be embryos of that phase, but the ma majority of them will be the stable phase. And I said, my concept was that the shock wave will freeze in the higher pressure uh, phase and make it stable, and then it'll grow. And, and I was able to derive a Gibbs function from that concept. I had to treat the material as a liquid because to do an inclusion theory where you actually had a surrounding of a solid was really too much. But George thought that was a really good idea, even wrote that in a review article after I, fi I finished. And, um, and it's, it's a, probably a little too simple, but it definitely showed it was the right direction in forcing the phase transition to go that way. And uh, I guess, a story I've never told before in public, I'll tell you, is that after that year of thinking of what I was going to do, I had, I had read five books on phase transitions. I mean, thick books. And I had to fly out and defend the theory part. And so I flew to Pullman without an idea of what I was going to do. And, and so this goes back to where I told you, I think I tend to do well under pressure. And at 2 o'clock in the morning, before I had to get up and defend it, I was trying to go to sleep and I, an idea popped into my mind, the idea of my nucleation theory. But of course I had done all the background and it just, the eureka moment had not occurred. And I never told George this, by the way, he never knew this, that I didn't have that idea until 2 o'clock in the morning and I had to present at 9 o'clock. Well, th th this is a <laughs> so, actual an example of shock physics applied to the human brain. Oh, Your it sure does. Your pressure changes state. And, and, okay. and, and he, work faster. he just thought it was, fan well, it was good. I just, I won't over, I won't exaggerate it. And actually at that point I could defend it because I had all the background and it made sense to me. I didn't have the math done by then because I just thought of it. And I, I've never actually told that in public before. <laughs> so. Well, you know, so th this is yes. part of the interview process where we actually uh, bring out some bring things. out and uh, look sure. at things in context sure. and say, and hmm.